Hey, welcome back. It's been a hot second. Now, I swear, I haven't been just uh, sleeping, eating, and not doing data pack things, I swear. I, I, I swear. <laughs> um, I have some spicy updates here. Tain to the Shield Hero data pack. I've got a lot to show you here, but we're going to do a little quick, quick rundown here. As you can see, I got my little area with my chest here and any veterans who have used this pack know these ingredients very well. Now, I've opted to remove the swirly icon in the upper left because I had it on a multiplayer server and so many people are like, what's this swirly icon? And they're not heroes, so obviously they, they, they can't use it. So it's, it's, it's pointless. Um, I might put in uh, some kind of a swirling sort of GUI in the future or UI however you want to say it but uh, for now let's just go into the alternate method that I cooked up here and it's actually a lot more efficient oh silly me I gotta give myself a shield first <laughs> one must be a hero to use hero stuff tag there it is add sheet Oop. I forgot it doesn't auto complete it doesn't know what I want and there we go now, same as before, you can check your advancements, check installed data packs right here. Very nice. And I kind of started piling up the shields in here just so it's not a monolithic line of unlockables. It's not really any rhyme or reason to it. I'm sure it's got an actual order in his hub, but I don't know that order. So I'm just uh, stacking them as I see fit. Anyway, so. You'll notice I only put three of the items in my inventory, the string, the blaze powder, and the spider eye. So now to absorb them, all I need to do is trigger absorb. Now, I I gotta admit, I like this a lot better. You know, when you're when you're starting out in the world and you got mobs on your tail, you don't have time to just drop something in your upper left of your inventory. Simple as that. So I think this is a lot more efficient. You, they just have to be in your inventory and then you can acquire them all at once. So if I drop it, you'll see that they've all been added to the queue. Switch to the Chimera Viper Shield. Ooh, my SP. Oof, oof, oof. Ugh, it's really bad. But I got the Chimera Viper Shield so it doesn't cost me SP to change anymore. <laughs> got them sweet deals. Anyway, let us unlock the rest of the goodies. You might be wondering what these are. We'll get to that. So if I do trigger absorb again, I'll unlock the rest. It never gets old though. So if I look at, I've got the full repertoire. Well, save for the wrath shield. Trigger wrath. Now I got all the shields. Go in here, Shield of Wrath. You'll notice the, if you look at my shields, some of these are looking very sexy. And I got my, my main dude, Paltry Man, to thank for that. He's an amazing modeler. Highly, highly enjoy his work. Not that I couldn't have modeled it. You know, I'm not, I, I, have, I, have, a, I have a job. That's not YouTube. I don't have time to bottle things as painstakingly as he does. But seriously, very, very impressive work. So as before, these all have their own abilities. However, you'll notice if I look down, my SP has tanked. Here comes the next major update. As SP does not regenerate as quickly as it did before, you have to make yourself some SP potions, or wait for it to regen naturally. The natural uh, countdown for regen, I think is five SP points every 30 seconds. Every th every 30, uh, 30 seconds, you get five SP back. It's, it's not terrible if you're AFK for, you know, a couple minutes, you're in good shape, but uh, not all of us have that sort of time, especially when you're in a predicament. So in this case, Grab yourself some blaze powder once again. Trigger. Craft SP potion. 
and you will see I have crafted myself a potion. Now if I drink this, boom, 50 SP per sip of the bottle. Obviously I'm in creative, if you're in survival, the bottle gets consumed and it removes the glass bottle from your inventory as well. So I got lots of SP and I now have full range my abilities. You can see here I've updated the Soul Eater shield. It now produces an actual second shield. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> A couple other abilities got strengthened, updated, and such. Siderite, uh, I activate it just once. And I'm not sure if I shared this in the last update. You got about five minutes worth of Siderite, but every time an entity comes in contact with it, it reduces the time significantly. So, but when, I wonder if I can yep, show you the warning here. Scoreboard, players, set, empathy layers, star, I think it's star counter, so 200, oh. Give a second. Shield about to break. So I give you a little warning. It's you have very little time to react. It I think it goes off with uh, two seconds. So two seconds after the warning pops up, your shield's gonna go down. But it's better than it just going down out of the blue. Another miscellaneous notes, uh model updates for the various items. You see this one looks this one looks mighty fine with shaders. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. I don't. Is there any mobs around here? There's a chicken. I know there's a zombie over there, but chicken's a lot more fun to take care of. Ooh. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> this looks very nice with shaders, might I add. <clears throat> so anyway, back on track. A couple other quality of life things. If I switch to pipe shield, trigger. So before, uh, you can check your proficiency. It goes from 0 to 100, and then, then you got to spend energy points, blah, 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 blah. I've added a second command, trigger status all. This gives you a report on all shields or weapons you have in your inventory. As you can see here, these I haven't held at all, so they're not uh, past zero or null. But you can see my pipe proficiency, 1%, and siderite proficiency, 2%. So you can kind of track them all and see where you want to allocate points. Uh, another thing, real quick, let me switch to my siderite. So it had three. I can do trigger, take energy, set one and then if I do status all you'll see it only took one proficiency point so you can now set an exact amount of energy to take from a weapon which is very very handy before it would just take it all indiscriminately so you can set that and in a similar vein I didn't mention this before when you go to craft there's the blaze powder when you go to craft your SP potions, craft SP potion, you can also set the amount you want to make. So if I want to make four, it only makes four. And of course, you can set this to an infinite value. So whenever you get blaze powder, it always becomes a potion. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but the more power to you. You can set it back anytime, of course. And I got a lot of these potions. Woohoo! And of course, these have their own lore. Soul Soothing Potion, quality good. Of course, I only make good to excellent quality gear. So, finally, you might be wondering what's with these items in the box? Well, dear viewer, <laughs> let me elucidate you real quick with an example. If I grab my leaf shield I believe the leaf shield and uh, actually let's go with the rope shield so if I do the rope shield 
obviously we've got the mastery level as a power-up system however I've also begun integrating the smelting so if I do trigger smelt well I shouldn't say started but it, the, the one I used for the the spear hero was not not the proper uh, system that was actually the bow heroes method that particular set of power-ups oops uh, I'm rectifying it as I go through and do it for the other heroes and such and I gotta adjust the spear hero too. smelt so if I do trigger smelt oh I got success right off the bat and you'll see if I try to do it again it'll fail because I need quartz I think you can see where this is going and if I take a look see let me refresh the ropes yeah yep you can see it's got a nice plus one and the armor toughness I'll throw the old values up on the screen the armor toughness value increased and that will increase with your mastery level as well so at level one you get I think an additional 15 percent increase on your stats I think that's approximately what it is and then this in increments up to uh, 20 25 30 and so on and so forth as you go up through the smelting system each time you do it it's a 50 50 chance uh, it can fail as I'm sure it will here let me switch to my crystals and let's try it again oh we got another success beautiful next up is the diamond trigger smelt success I'm feeling lucky I might grab a, some lotto tickets <laughs> all right uh, let's check up on our shield here so is it what was it 3.3 before if I rope shield plus three you now see it's at 3.84 and of course we're still at mastery level zero so you can't really notice exactly how large it'll get but as you level up and get enhance your weapon with proficiency the power multiplies rather quickly so I think the next thing I need is a heart of the sea let's give it a go oh so it failed now when it fails you lose all your smelting levels so if I toss out rope shield you'll notice all gone so it started at three it was at 3.84 now it's back at three so you got a 50 50 chance as you climb the ladder and if you fail you got to go up the ladder again which at the start not a problem you I'm sure any survival player is gonna have copious amounts of iron and quartz but diamonds and especially heart of the seas is gonna be it's gonna be rough and then the final enchantment item that you need is a nether star so uh, <clears throat> Have fun with that. <laughs> so that's pretty much all with the, the new update. Just basic quality of life things. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to round this video off by uh, reviewing some questions that you, the viewers and data pack users, have sent to me. And oh boy, uh, uh, oh. <laughs> let's uh, let's get into that. Edu Gamer 5567 says, Hey, I have an idea. A kind of book shield. It makes you immune to the poison and can be used to make potions with better effect, like when Nafumi makes medicines. I don't know if it's possible to do that, but so yeah. Well, anyway, good job. This data pack is incredible. Thank you for your kind words, good sir. But, uh. Oh. <laughs> so he does have a book shield. You're right about that. It's actually shown in in the anime itself and of course in the manga and the light novel it's mentioned the problem is the book increases his magic effectiveness now I I might add the magic system at some point here but uh, I don't have any magic currently so it'll basically sit on your arm and be a book uh, I there already is a poison resistance if you equip the chimera viper shield here it gives you complete poison nullification so I don't know if you didn't know that or just a just a little side effect and the medicines that's actually his mush shield I believe from those mushrooms he fights in the the area around Mount Remark 
So, I mean, you're talking three different things here, uh, two of which I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. Do I? Do I want to add a mush shield just so you can improve potion quality? I mean, maybe. Maybe if I had a whole team that could just like a like an army of paltry men to make me models for every shield. <laughs> I'll hop right on that. Dennis one hundred says the best anime ever. All right, all right, all right. Totally agree. Ba ba ba. UX Lucario says, what do you do when you lost the shield? I can't find it anywhere, nor can I find a command that gives it back to me. Uh, the command you're looking for is slash trigger basic, basic SH. This is the same for all the weapons. It's basic and then underscore whatever the initials are, and it'll give it back to you. You can even use it if you already have it. Uh, similarly, you can also get the shield again by just dropping any shield and then you'll get the screen. So, good question. Moving on. Why is the shield gone when I switch shield? Because I'm a derp and I uploaded an incomplete pack. My apologies. I will. I have fixed it. <laughs> that was uh, 20, 24, 24, by the way. How do you stop the effect of the Siderite shield by Calum Neb? All right. Let me show you a little trick here. So if I go to, not the Soul Eater, I did not mean to do that. If I go to the, if I can stop clicking the Soul Eater shield. Okay. Siderite. And I activate it. To deactivate the Siderite shield, you can use trigger star off. Pretty self-explanatory. I'd recommend reviewing your commands whenever you got them. They're in the trigger menu. Very, very, very handy. It's also written on the page. Um, uh, also, you can add entities to your party. So if you got a pet dog or you got some buds you're on a server with, you can just do slash party and you can add them. Very nice. Ba -ba -ba. Paltry man, the main man himself, ask, love the data pack. Can you have the shield and spear data pack in the same world? Of course. All of the hero data packs are going to be compatible with each other. And in the future, I might compile them into one megalithic, megalithic data pack of the heroes. We'll see. But yeah, they're completely compatible. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <sighs> Policy Man also asked, quick question, which program do you make the 3D models? I already answered him and he was already using it, but I made him in Blockbench. Nice, nice free software. Highly recommend. Man, how does the smelting system exactly works? <clears throat> Sick. The Shadow 14359. Can you make another video explaining it? Way ahead of you. Well, by the time you see this, not way ahead of you, but uh, I digress. And I just showed you. So if you're watching this video, there you go. If you need a quick refresher, TL TLDR, uh, to hold shield, hold necessary material, starts at iron, uh, trigger smelt, flip a coin, and make sure it lands on heads. Rascal does not work for me, but the new models of the shields are very beautiful and cool. Edu Gamer, 5567, once again. Man, I'm getting a lot of repeat customers here. Uh, I don't know why it is the way. To, oh, I checked and it was just the version I was playing. Thanks anyway. Ah, uh, yes. This is for 1.16.5. Use 1.16.5, please. Uh, as soon as we got a stable 1.17, I'll probably update it. Open it just works automatically. I don't know, you can test that if you want. D -d 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 and, oh, I'm going to butcher this name. What is this? Toadisqueens. Toadisqueens. I hope I said that right. The data pack is very good, but I know the next update should only improve. I have a few suggestions. Could add the sword with Raftalia and Phylum. Phylum to help in combat. I think you mean Philo? Philoials? Maybe? Also leave a level scheme for the shield and the rest of the group. Place the option to create potions through the shield. Gotcha. So, as for the level scheme, yeah, I don't really use 
levels currently. None of the shields are barred with levels. Uh, you might think just use the Minecraft leveling system, but it's... I'm not gonna lie, it kinda sucks for doing stuff like that. Uh, I mean, you set up a you set up a blaze farm and you're at level 50, like... I don't know, I feel like I need a, something a little more, more holistic here. Uh, I got you covered in the last part, though. Lucas Underhero states, Hey, I have some issues with a pack. Can you explain what version does it work on? 1.16.5 Nahum, my main dude. He's been here since the start. Thank you for all the hard work you put in this data pack. I can't wait, wait to check it out for myself. You got it, bro. Coton. And we're gonna call it there. Uh, I hope this was most informative. I'll have a proper proper video. I got a lot of other updates coming along. A couple other hero data packs. Mm. But uh, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.